Hi guys, hope you're all okay. It's Chantel. Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year to you all. I was meant to be jumping on just before Christmas to wish you all a happy Christmas, but we were just super, super busy. I didn't have time and the kids were super, super excited for Christmas time. We've just been having loads of family time, which we really, really needed. The kids had a great day and on Christmas Day we went out for Christmas lunch and it's the first time we've done that like as a family since I was a kid and we really enjoyed it because we had no cooking to do, no cleaning up and it was lovely just to have a chilled out Christmas Day and just spend time with the family. I absolutely loved it and then New Year's Eve we went for a meal and then we went to visit my mum and dad and then just came home and had a really quiet New Year's Eve as well. So let me know what you've done over the Christmas time. I hope you all had a lovely, lovely time. And let's get into today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Mummy Silk, which I was sent this beautiful, beautiful silk blouse. I mean, how stunning is this? I absolutely love this beautiful green colour. And I always love silk pieces because they're breathable and they feel so good against your skin. I think there's nothing better than like a silk blouse or any piece of silk. This is made from 100% pure mulberry silk which is absolutely top notch. I love it. I also got sent a beautiful silk pillowcase. This is just the most stunning colour ever. How beautiful is that? And silk pillowcases are so good for your skin. They're good for your hair. They stop breakage in your hair and they stop your skin from wrinkling because when you're lying down at night, you always get those creases on your skin and this prevents that. So I've been loving using this silk pillowcase. It just feels like pure luxury and I love it. I also got these gorgeous hair bubbles. How beautiful are those? And I love these colours. I think they look gorgeous and these are perfect for stopping breakage in your hair they're just so so good for your hair anytime i tie my hair up i always wear a silk bobble because they just help with breakage so much and i need all the help i can get since i dyed my hair like this bleach blonde color so absolutely love those i think they're fantastic luxurious pieces and I definitely, definitely recommend checking out Mama Silk because they're honestly so, so good, beautiful. They've got a massive range on their website. They do all sorts of clothing wear. They do pyjamas. They do like the pillowcases and sleep masks, hair bubbles. They do all sorts. So definitely pop over to their website and check them out. I'll leave the link to their website down below. I've also got a discount code for you guys, which is amazing because they're beautiful, luxurious pieces. And I'm sure you'd want to check them out beautiful quality so that's mummy silk and i'm so thankful to them for sending me those pieces because i love them so so much you all know i love me silk shirts i wear silk shirts quite often and this one is just so classy and sophisticated i love it but today what i thought i'd do is show you the fragrances that i got I've getting them. I got some of them just before Christmas for my wedding anniversary. I also got a few for Christmas, and I want to show you what I picked up and what I think of them. So let's get straight into it. The first one I want to talk about is the fragrance I got off my husband for our wedding anniversary on the 16th of December. Now, we had a lovely day. We went out into Newcastle. We had done some shopping 
we went perfume shopping which i loved and i was gonna pick up killian's angel share but i was in phoenix and they had sold out and i was like oh no so i was gonna go somewhere else to get it i was gonna order it online and then i was just browsing having a little look about and i smelt this one and honestly i fell head over heels in love with it i think it's absolutely gorgeous it's by frederick marl and it's musk ravager oh now when i tell you about love at first sniff this was an absolute love at first sniff for me i think it's absolutely stunning this is totally totally unisex and there's something about it it's got like for me a really really strong note of lavender but it's got a spice to it it's a little bit like on the animalic side i would say but it still feels really airy now when i smell this i think of like fluffy clouds which i think of when i think of a few of my fragrances but this is like really white, soft, fluffy clouds. It's got that airy vibe to it. But it's just so, so beautiful. It's very, very classy. Very well done. It's blended to absolute perfection. It's like a really musky lavender fragrance. Like a soft musk. And you've got some cinnamon in there and clove. And those spices just push it to the next level. It smells so, so good. But yeah, I definitely get like a heavenly cloud-like sort of picture in my mind when I smell this one. And I wore this on the night of my wedding anniversary. We went out for a meal after we had been shopping and we stayed at like a really nice hotel. And it was just a really lovely evening and it's the first time in ages that me and my husband had actually spent time just together without the kids and it was just really nice to chill out and just have a nice meal and a nice night and this was just beautiful and it lasts on your skin so so long it's like quite sexy it's sophisticated it's just everything that i want in a fragrance and this is the first fragrance for ages that i fell like head over heels in love with instantly so yeah love that one musk Ravager by frederick marl beautiful the next one i got for christmas and i've been looking into this one for quite a while and i really really like it it's an amouage fragrance it's from the secret garden collection now if you all know and you've watched my channel before you know that i love lilac love from that collection i think that's beautiful but this one was next on my list and it's love tuberose this is the most beautiful creamy lactonic tuberose fragrance i've ever smelled it's gorgeous you've got tuberose in there there's gardenia and jasmine there's whipped cream and vanilla and i think there's some like woody notes i think there's some sandalwood in there and it just smells so so good those floral notes with the whipped cream just are oh, it smells heavenly it's beautiful very very well blended again and i love amorge fragrances i think they last so so well on this skin this is powerful stuff and it really lasts on your skin it lingers for honestly hours and hours and it leaves a magical trail behind you and i just think it's so so beautiful this is one that you could wear at any time of the year and if you like tuberose fragrances, I think you'd love this one, especially with that whipped cream node. It gives it something else 
and I adore it. So that's Amouage Love Tube Rose. I was so, so happy to get that one. Love it. The next two I got are both from Serge Tons. And I actually got three Serge Tons fragrances. And one of them was a total fail for me. I really didn't like it. And I thought I would because I've heard so many people talking about it. And it sounded like something I'd really, really enjoy. It was Fleur de Oranger. And I just didn't like it. I liked the orange blossom in it. And I didn't mind the neroli. Now, I can sometimes be a little bit funny with neroli. But it wasn't that. That was putting it off. It was the cumin note. That just stood out on my skin so, so much. And it really didn't gel with my skin at all, which I was gutted about. When I smelt it from the bottle, I thought this is going to be absolutely gorgeous. But on my skin, it just didn't work at all. So I've already sold that on. I sold it straight away. I just knew I wouldn't be wearing it. But this one and the next one I'm going to talk about, I really like them both. This one's Five O'Clock Eau Je Jambre. Now, I've had this in my collection before and I hunted high and low months and months ago for it and I couldn't find it. So I knew what this one smelled like already and I really, really used to enjoy this one. So I bought it again. This, I love the story behind the Serge Tons fragrances and this is all about what Serge Tons would think of if he was having afternoon tea at Buckingham Palace and it's all about like having your afternoon tea in fine china and it really gives off that vibe to me this smells like a ginger cake like a really spicy ginger cake with like a vanilla frosting on the top and like candied ginger pieces. I really get that sort of candied ginger sort of vibe from it. And then there's a tea note in here. So that's all about like your tea with your cakes and scones. And it's just so, so beautiful. I love this one. And I always used to really enjoy it. I do have to be in a certain mood to wear this one, which I do with like most of Serge Tons fragrances. They really give off like a mood and a vibe. And I love that about them. The full line of fragrances tell a different story. And I love it. And I'm going to do like an updated Serge Tons video. But this is just so, so beautiful. I love that aroma of tea with the ginger. And there's also like a chocolatey sort of note in here. And amber. And it just smells amazing and super, super unique. So yeah, 5 o'clock Auge Jamba. Beautiful fragrance from Serge Tons. The next one is one I've had my eye on for ages and I can't believe I haven't picked it up till now. It's Ombre Sultan by Serge Tons. Now this is honestly one of the best amber fragrances I've ever, ever smelled. It's so, so good. It's resinous and it's got some woody notes in there. It's got vanilla in there. But it's like the resins, the myrrh, the amber and the benzoin that really stand out for me. Oh, it is so, so good, guys. If you have never tried Umber Sultan and you're a fan of amber fragrances, you need to go and check this out. It's like a resinous, warm, spicy, sort of thick fragrance. I just think it's so, so good. And it's definitely jumped right to the top of like my favourite amber fragrances. I think it's excellent. Again, very, very unisex, which I think majority of Serge Tons fragrances are. And do you know what I've been doing as well? I've been layering Serge Tons fragrances lately. And 
there's some beautiful combinations I've been putting together and I've been really really enjoying doing that so I might do a whole video on like Sergeton's layering combos because I've been enjoying them so so much and I think there's some amazing amazing scents you can make by layering the fragrances and then they're super super unique you have never smelled anything like them so i'll probably do that video if you would like to see it let us know in the comments below and i'll do it so yeah ombre sultan beautiful long lasting on the skin and just amazing and the last one i've got to show you today is Dua late night venom now i've been meaning to pick this fragrance up for ages because this is an inspiration fragrance and it's meant to smell like dior midnight poison which is a long discontinued fragrance that i absolutely love now this really really does smell pretty close to midnight poison i'd say 99 close and it just smells beautiful it's like that gothic rose fragrance it reminds me of like rock and roll and i just love this so so much i think it's fantastic and i don't know how they've made it so so close and this one lasts quite well on the skin as well and I just love having this one in my collection to remind us of the beautiful Dior Midnight Poison, which is just going for so much money now on the likes of eBay. And I don't think you can ever be certain if it's a real deal. You've got to really look into the buyers and stuff. So I always think it's a bit of a risk. I don't know if I told you before that I did buy a Midnight Poison on um ebay it was ages ago now and it came the everything looked legit it even had like the serial code and i checked it all out and when i actually opened the box the bottle just looked like totally different you could blatantly say that it was a fake so i don't know what, what happened there but i did get my money back i sent the perfume back to the buyer and i told ebay but the lady that had sold it was like adamant that she didn't know that it was a fake and that so i don't know if she did or not but yeah i had to tell eb and everything but i did get my money back which i was happy about because it was quite a lot of money so i don't want to get caught in that trap again so i bought this instead and don't know what it does the job just nicely and i really really love it so i think i'll be wearing this one quite a bit because i used to love dior midnight poison and i hadn't smelled it for years and my mate gabby the fragrantician here on youtube she sent me a little sample of it and do you know what i've still got a little bit left in the sample and I always sniff it and I don't use it up because I love it that much and I always want to have it. But honestly, this is so close. So if you're looking for a dupe for Midnight Poison, which you can't really get anymore, definitely try out Dua Late Night Venom. Love it so much. So yeah, I've had a little bit of a ramble on there today. So let me know in the comments what fragrances did you get over the christmas time is there anything exciting that you've added to your collection let us know and if you enjoyed the video let us know as well give us a thumbs up don't forget to check out mummy silk i'll leave all the details below check out these beautiful silk pieces because they are stunning so yeah i'll leave everything in the description i'll also leave the discount code as well and i hope you all have a fantastic day and i'll see you all very very soon on the next one bye